Hey guys, my name is James and this is going to be a quick tip. This is for the Ender 3 4.2.7 silent board upgrade with a BL Touch version 3.1 and this is the firmware setup for the 5 pin system on the BL Touch. Now if you're looking for complete instructions on how to upgrade to a 4.2.7 silent board on an Ender 3, you can watch my playlist. I'm going to link it up here and in the description below. You're going to open VS Code and you're going to go to the configuration.h and then you're going to do a find for the BL Touch. You're going to define the BL Touch. Then you're going to go up top. Then you're going to disable Zmin Probe uses Zmin and Stop Pin. Then you're going to define Use Probe for Z Homing. And then you're going to define Zmin Probe Pin and you're going to put PB1. Now those are the only changes you have to make to the firmware to go from a split 3-2 pin system to a single terminal 5 pin system for the BL Touch. Remember to add your other settings before compiling the firmware. If you need a complete guide, I have a video in the description below. Once you're done with the rest of the items, you can go ahead and click on this right here to check mark the build platform IO. Then you want to go to the Marlin bug fix. Then you want to go to .pio, build, the environments folder. You want to copy the latest firmware to your micro SD card, the .bin file, and then you want to plug it into your uh, printer and turn it on. And you can see I took off the Z-stop. It was a small space, so I just created a extension using the DuPont wires, but you can see that they are the same color. So black is the ground and white is the out. So this is the example of the BL Touch being plugged in into the 5 pin terminal uh, with the Z end stop unplugged and this is a 200 by 200 grid and this video is being sped up at 10x speed. I decided to plug in the Z end stop. Again, a 200 by 200 grid is being printed, this time with the Z end stop plugged in. At various points, I did try out the end stop. Now, does it make a difference if this end stop is still plugged into the printer? I tried triggering the end stop at various points during the process and found that once you have disabled the end stop with the firmware, it does not matter if the end stop is still plugged into the printer. But you may want to remove the end stop if the end stop is actually higher than the bed. Uh, so for safety, just remove the end stop. I've added this to my GitHub page. The configuration files are in here and the actual compiled firmware is right here. Um, you can download them and use whichever you need. The link will be in the description below. Oh yeah, if you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe.